Oh, g'day, it's Bob here, Bob and Phil from uh, Rivertech. And what we're going to demonstrate today is how we install one of these curved windows. This one's from a Viscount Ambassador 1969, but many of the Viscounts have the same window. Now, when you look at this uh, window that, we, that we've had specially uh, made, baked in an oven, so it's already preformed. Therefore, when it goes together, there'll be no stresses here that cause those cracks that you often see up this way. On this window, there's a long side and a short side. In your kit, you'll receive the window and also this rubber seal. We've prepared our frame, we use a laser cleaner to bring it up nice and clean and get rid of all the rubbish and oxidisation ready for paint. Normally, we would um, have this prepared and painted before installing the window. But for demonstration purposes, we're just going to set this in now for you. So like all your um, Viscount windows and, and many others, the frame comes apart, the top piece comes off, which allows you to slip the new uh, glass straight in. So what we'll do now, we'll just uh, secure those. And we can just pop that back in. That screw does go into a slot in the frame, so you do need to line that up. Yeah. Always when uh, screwing into aluminium, never over tighten. Now we flip it over and working from the outside of the window, we'll now install the rubber seal. The starting point for these is actually at the top. So you need to look at what side of the van it came off and to, de to determine what the top is. These are reversible. They can go onto the van either way, depending. You might have to help me here, you know. Yeah, so this is? is a left, uh, if looking at the front of the van, this is a left hand side window. Okay. Okay, so before you install the seal, you'll see that um, on the seal, there's a, it's angled on the top here. You want to put it in the right way so that it gives the most watershed. So with the angle facing up to the left there, that would then be facing down towards the glass. So if we were doing a flat window, we'd normally start the rubber seal in the middle, but on these curved ones, We'll start in the top right there. I'll just push that in. Now, as you push the seal in, it doesn't hurt to compress it a little bit. You certainly do not want to be stretching and leaving it in a stretched position. The reason is these do shrink over time. And as most of you know from your own vans, that the uh, old grey seals are probably coming out in the corners. So I'm um, just simply pushing, providing a little bit of compression. Ah, G'day, I'm back with gloves on and also a little bit of soapy water. As you come around the curve here, you'll find it can get a little bit tight, um, but with the soapy water, we were able to still push that in. Um, as you do that, always make sure that the, the glass is pushed up towards the front edge. That right, sorry, the back edge. All right, so we're just coming to the corner now. Remember, we've been compressing all the way. Now, you take your knife, some windows are fully cut, but uh, we don't see the need for that. We're going with the other method, and that is we're just going to cut the back of the rubber, but not all the way through, just to about that point there. And bring that around. And the gloves are going to come off again. There we go. Oh, 
make life a bit easier. Again, compressing as you push it in. Come down the other side, maybe now. Interesting thing about these these seals is um, they don't, don't actually make it waterproof. Water will still get past them, um, but each window on your van has little weep holes that lets the water get away. And naturally it's going to get the worst of it. Down there. Taking my glasses off for this bit. There we go. You usually like to cut them a little bit longer and then just force it back in. Apply some pressure into that corner. That's it. And stand him up for. Finished product. Beautiful.